Good morning, Atlanta, and welcome to a special edition of GTV News. Coming up on today's show, we take a look at how technology is advancing both the fields of football and fast food. And how one local market has stayed successful through generations by sticking to their traditional roots. All this and much more because GTV News from STN starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, STN. I'm Megan Fee. And I'm Garrett Otto, and here's all the news you need to know for Thursday, March 10th, 2016. Here at the 13th annual STN competition, hundreds of students have converged on the Marriott Marquis in an effort to win a title in the Crazy 8 competition. These students have eight hours to produce a new show under the prompt Science and Technology. They must use their always advancing equipment to their advantage, combined with their creativity and inspiration from the surrounding city, to successfully create their final product. The competition will be stiff, but if students can perfect the science of news and journalism, they might just end up on top. Atlanta is in the heart of the SEC football country, and one local attraction allows fans to step into the shoes of their favorite players. Let's go. Whether you're running or jumping, the College Football Hall of Fame will not let you sit down, and that is their goal. There's a very interactive element that it goes beyond just a picture and a name. You get to really get some insight into the folks that we're honoring here. The College Football Hall of Fame moved from South Bend, Indiana to Atlanta, and the move down south came at a perfect time. So South Bend did the best with what the available technology was at the time. We were just lucky in that we were, we were transitioning at a time when the technology became more affordable. It's really cool that, that folks get to see just how much things have changed over the years. Here at the College Football Hall of Fame, there's tons of technology for fans to interact with. But there is one piece of equipment that everyone in the football world is talking about. Uh, we have a 12-year-old that's wanted to play, and we've held him back and then consider playing, and it's still not a decision yet made. He also plays golf and he doesn't get concussions playing golf. Could you imagine wearing those helmets, man? That's, no. those, are, those are crazy. The, the state of the game is great. There's advances in football just like there's advances in technology and there's advances in, in, in aerospace. So in every, every aspect of the game, from the shoes to the helmet, you know, advances are constant and that, that's what's really great about the sport. When a fan has a question, they can always count on the College Football Hall of Fame. For GTV News, I'm Lucy Waldy. It's really interesting to see how far technology has come in football. And how it affects the safety of the players. Still to come up after the break, we take a look at one of the most mouth-watering food joints in Atlanta. And a historical spot you do not want to miss. Are you struggling to find your way around STN this year? You can find all the answers in one spot with Guidebook. Go to the App Store and download Guidebook. Open the app and search STN Convention 2016. Once there, all the information you will need is just a few clicks away. This app is free to download on both Android and iPhone. GTV reporter Samantha Wiesnith took to the streets of Atlanta this morning to find one local hotspot that has turned selling a classic food into a savory science. From the moment you step inside the Varsity, you can sense one thing. All right. Go total is 2052. It's real electric. It's an electric atmosphere. Kids love it. First timers are kind of overwhelmed. Because we were yelling out, what do you have, what do you have, what do you have? You know, we never quiet. We always excited. A lot of people, a lot of employees, a lot of action. The goal of the restaurant is to give customers the best experience possible. I need two hot dogs. Sometimes we interact with the customers. We might joke around, play with them, but we still do our job. We want to get them their food and, and get them on down the road and get them sat down so they can eat their food while it's hot and fresh. Just like the Varsity has its service running like a well-oiled machine, they've gotten the hot dog down to a science. We want to retain the legacy of the Varsity, so we, the food, we don't change the food, the food's the same. People come back, they haven't been here in in 10, 20 years, and they're like, wow, it's exactly the same, it's delicious. So that's what we shoot for. The food is nice, the 
the employees are nice, the customers are nice, everything about it is just a nice place to be. The Varsity's tried and true method will keep customers coming for years. For GTV News, what I'm Samantha Wiesner. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? It's amazing how successful just a simple hot dog thing can be. Yeah, it really seems like they got their hot dogs down to a science. Oh, for sure. Now, GTV reporter Kim Kahan stopped by one place in Atlanta whose lack of technology is what makes them unique. The curb market in Atlanta has stayed true to its traditional values. Atlanta established this farmer's market back in 1918 on land that had been cleared by a huge fire that swept through the city the year before. Farmers could bring their livestock and produce here to sell to city dwellers creating a market. And it soon became the place where everybody in Atlanta shopped. But this market has something that gives them a leg up to other competing businesses. There are other markets that have been built that are very modern. You know, they've got all the bells and whistles, but they just don't have the feel. They just don't have the echo that this building has. Even with technology changing all around us, this market has managed to stay true to its roots. We, we got to preserve the history of the place, and that makes it unique, you know, different from every other thing still which exists today. The thing that makes it different is authenticity. Yeah, when they come in the first time and they see how the place is, it doesn't stop them from coming back. You know, because everything is so synthetic these days. But you come here and you see little dents here and there, and you know, that's what makes the market. The curb market is proof that you don't need modern technology in order to thrive. For GTV News, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Wow, Gert, it's so interesting to see that with all the new technology available, the market is still thriving with their original business approach. And just how much technology varies here in Atlanta. And now here's three to know before we go. Don't forget that opening ceremony is tonight at 8 o'clock. Be sure to attend the breakout sessions happening all this week. And any info you need on the week is on the STN mobile app. Well, Atlanta, that is all the news we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed our show. For GTV News, I'm Megan Fee. And I'm Garrett Otto. We're going to leave you with what we like to call our closing capture. So have a great day, Atlanta.